Hello and welcome to this wireless workbench training from Shaw. My name is Jack, I'm going to be taking you through this training which we have divided up into three sections. So this is section one where we'll be looking at the basics of the software, how to download it, get it onto your machine and get some equipment running and do kind of a basic coordination. In the second section we'll be looking at a more intermediate use case. So if you have a, a larger channel count, you want to do a larger show or something of that nature, we'll go through some of the features that Workbench has to get you there. And in the third section, we'll be looking at advanced techniques, tips and tricks, how to get to those really high channel counts and how some of the real professionals in this world are deploying the software. But first of all, I just want to talk a little bit about what Wireless Workbench is. So this is a short piece of software, it's free to download, and it's designed to work with any piece of Shure equipment with an RJ45 port. So in our portfolio as it stands today, in 2023, that's SLXD, QLXD, ULXD, and Axiom Digital for the wireless transmitter side, and PSM900 and PSM1000 for the IEM side. Wireless Workbench can also be used as an offline device uh, for third parties. So if you are using equipment with third party manufacturers, you can use it to get a coordination and export it. We'll have a little look at how to do that as well. And in terms of the use case itself, Wireless Workbench has been designed to be useful from anything from like a small church with three channels all the way up to a huge stadium tour or an arena tour with 300 channels. So that's what we're going to be looking at. The first step is going to be how to get it onto your machine and how to run it and how to get some equipment connected up. So we'll look at that now. <laughs> 